Welcome back to the Seaboard Central, everyone. In last week's video, we programmed the Scale Train Central of Georgia Heritage ES44AC to operate just like the real thing. And in this week's video, I'm going to show you how to program an Iowa Scaled Engineering Protothrottle to also operate just like the real thing. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So first, let's talk about what the prototrottle actually is. Now I control my Seaboard Central layout with an NCE DCC system. And here is my NCE Pro Cramp. Now besides uh, using it as an extra throttle if I need it, basically the only thing I use this Pro Cab for is to either build or change a consist, a locomotive consist. So the difference in this is that you cannot build, consist, or program locomotives with the prototrottle. It's basically just another controller, just like this Cab 06 controller. However, there's a huge difference between these two. So basically what the prototrottle is, is a miniature control stand. Now, if you have your locomotives programmed correctly, like we did in that last video, and you have this programmed correctly, you can actually achieve pretty realistic results. Take it from a real locomotive engineer. When you get used to operating one of these prototrottles using another controller, it just seems boring and lame. So this will make my third prototrottle that I have here on the Seaboard Central. And this will allow for three separate operators to be using prototrottles at the same time. So when you get the prototrottle, let's open the box up and see what comes with it. So first you have your instruction manual is provided. Then the prototrottle itself. Also, you have this that you can attach to the, the back of the prototrottle. It allows you to put your fingers through it to hold it. It also includes a lanyard. So this is a special prototrottle in that it was weathered. This is one of those that they weathered up. So I thought that was really cool that they did that. Now, inside of it, we're going to show, here's where the two batteries go. It takes two AA batteries. And here is uh, the screws that we'll use to uh, attach it to the front. And also the controls. All right, I've got two uh, batteries in it. I've also installed the controls and installed the faceplate to the base but you'll notice there's a red light blinking and that means it's not connected to the base station. So the prototrottle works really easy with an NCE DCC system. You only have to plug the base station into one of these uh, jacks, these uh, controller jacks that you have on your layout. So I have my base station mounted underneath the layout and uh, behind the fascia. You only need one of these uh, base stations. It'll control all of your prototrottles on your layout. So it's just a one-time purchase. And with NCE, this is all you need. It's pretty basic. If you have a Digitrack system, you're going to need a separate LNWI, but you can make it work even with the Digitracks. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make some changes to our prototrottle. And we do that by using these four black buttons here beside the LCD screen. This is also where you need to make any changes to it. So you first this top left button, you want to just scroll through the menu and we want to go to communication configuration. Here we go. Now this bottom left button, that's your select button. So I've already set this one to throttle number C since I, this will be my third throttle. Now I want to scroll through and I want to change this base address to number four. So it's set at zero now. I'm going to, this is your up and down keys. So I'm going to go up to number four, and then I'm going to hit enter, which is right here. Now it's saved. Now, did you see the light turned to green? Now if we push and hold this button, it'll go back to the very start. So let's uh, test it out. So even though I don't have it programmed, there are some presets already in the pro throttle. Let's dial in that 151. So what you want to do is you want to go to this top screen again and we want to go to set loco right here. Press this button. 
And now we want to change that number. So this will, this top button will scroll over. We want one, and then we'll go to number five, and then down, one. Then hit enter to enter it into the protothrottle. Now it's saved in there. Now, I'm gonna go back. Now, if this is right, we should be able to turn that locomotive on. So let's do this again. That would be the first thing on the menu. This top button, we'll turn it on. Now, since my uh, bell and my horn is pretty much standard, I left them at F1 and F2. It should work with a protothrottle. So let's activate the bell. And let's activate the horn. So that part works. So now let's turn the unit off. So now what we need to do is program the rest of the protothrottle. So while we're at it, let's look at some of the controls on the protothrottle itself. You, of course you have your horn and your bell. You also have the throttle. And this right here is your reverser, just like on a real one right now, this one is in the neutral position. Now, um, your protothrottle will eventually go to sleep if you leave it just like this. You wanna make sure when you're done using it, you put it back in this neutral position because if you leave it in either forward or reverse, it will continue to be awake. So if you want it to go to sleep, eventually it will uh, time out and uh, conserve that battery. So that's your way, uh, this way is forward and this way is reverse, okay? This is your brake. Right now it's released and this is on. Now right here you see it shows emergency. So if that's the way this protothrottle comes. It's just like having that red button on your regular controller um, as an emergency. But that's the, not the way I want to use this protothrottle because for me, this protothrottle is just like an independent brake. The independent brake on the locomotive controls these uh, the brake uh, cylinders, the brake cylinders on the uh, on the locomotive wheels itself. Okay, the train automatic brake controls the air, including the brakes on the train cars. But I want to treat this uh, protothrottle just like it was an independent brake. So let me first show you how you cut that out. So. What you want to do is you want to go to options. All right. And you want to go to break emergency stop. Right now it's on. We want to change that to off and we want to uh, save it. So now my proto throttle is set up just to be just like a, an independent break. It will not uh, put it in emergency. So this means we do need to make sure we have this thing programmed correctly um, so we'll be able to stop our locomotives. Now this protothrottle has an actual, it's based off a real locomotive control stand which includes idle and notches one through eight. So we need to program each one of these notches and what I want to be able to do is make each notch sound just like a real locomotive so you'll hear that increase in RPMs. So we want to go in and program those notches. So the first thing we need to do is go through our menu and go to notch configuration right here. And uh, you'll hit select. Now we want to change notch number one to six. Save it. Notch number two, we want it to be 15. I'm gonna include these in the notes. Just make sure you write these. These really do make a difference. We'll save that one. Notch number three, 26. Go down to 26. Now you don't have to save each time. We'll save it when we're done with all of them. So we'll go to notch number four, 34. Keep going down till you get to 34. Notch number five, 41. Notch number six, 48. This makes a huge difference. Uh, 
Trust me on this. Make these changes and your prototrottle will work excellent. Very prototypical. 48. Notch number seven is 58. They got these way too high from the factory. We want to definitely move these down. And finally, notch number eight will be 68. All right, now let's let's go through and make sure everything is right. So notch one is six, notch two is 15, notch three is 26, notch four is 34, notch five, 41, notch six, 48, notch seven, 58, and notch eight, 68. Great. All right, the next thing we wanna do is assign all the functions to this prototrottle. Now, besides the uh, the brake here, the reverser, the lights, the throttle, the bell, the horn, you also have this um, this aux large auxiliary button, and you can assign the top and the bottom button on this side to also do things. So the way I have my proto throttle set up is I assign drive hole to this large auxiliary button. I I will assign something like a dynamic brake or flange squeal if the locomotive is not equipped with dynamic brakes to that top button and this bottom button, I will assign that coupler crash. So now let's let's do that. So what we wanna do is we want to go to that configuration button. Here we go, configuration function. So we're gonna configure all the functions. So this is correct. I do have the horn on F2. I have the bell on F1. Now the brake, here I want to change this to F6. And remember, if you go back and you look at that programming video on how I programmed that Scale Trains ES44AC, you'll see I came up with my um, my own um, function table. You need to have yours so it, it'll be standard. So here's the uh, auxiliary. Um, I'm going to change it. That's this large button. I'm going to change this to F5. All right, and engine on, I'm gonna leave it F8. We'll ignore the engine stop, uh, the throttle unlock, we'll ignore that. With the reverse swap, we'll ignore that. The centered, ignore that. Alerter, I wanna ignore that. Compressor, brake test, all that. All right, front headlight. So we do have it assigned to F0, that's correct. The front ditch light. We want to assign front ditch light to F4. That's the way I have that set up. Front dim. We want to set it up to F3. All right. Rear headlight. I want it at F10. Rear ditch light. F12. And rear dim, I got it at F11. And this is why it was important to put all of those uh, headlight features on uh, different different functions so you'll be able to control them. Now, the up button. This is this button right here, up button. And I've got it set to F7. And I want it F7 latching. So I'm gonna keep scrolling through here until right now it's on momentary. I wanna change this to latching. So I'll keep going through all the way to 28. And now it's gonna switch over to latching because it's a dynamic brake. When I hit the button, I want it to stay, I want it to stay active. So there we go. Next one is this down button. Now I do want it momentary, but I'm gonna change it to F9. And that should be all of them. Okay, that's it. So now I'm gonna hit this bottom button to save everything. Now everything's saved. So now, let's try this again. We're gonna turn that locomotive on. Got a horn. 
bell. Now the brakes are released. It should move in reverse now. There's notch one. Brake. Change the direction. Because I've got that deceleration value max completely out, it forces you to use that brake to bring it to a stop. So when I want to turn the locomotive off, down button. Now this one probably, I need to look, but it probably has a five minute timer. It'll go to sleep as long as, like I said, make sure that reverser is centered. So let's show how you can change the number and dial in a different locomotive. So you'll go to this button. Again, scroll through until you see set locomotive. And let's change it to this 8101. Again, this is the up button and this is the down button. So we're gonna go through until we find the num number eight. And it's already one. Skip over, zero, and one. Save. Again, we'll hold it. We'll go back to the start. And then this one fired up. Now, if this engine was in a consist, it would fire all of them up. You want to dial your leader in. It'll control the whole entire consist. Okay? So... We can look at and uh, see right here should be the front headlight on. There's bright and there's the ditch lights. Move them all the way over. So we put all of these on separate functions when we programmed the programming on that locomotive. I also did the rear. And go back and put it on. I can actually display dim on both ends. Now I got dim on the front and dim on the rear. I've already got it set to reverse. Let's back it up. And throttle up. And brake. One more time, we will release the brake. Move the reverser in reverse, add some throttle. We have this acceleration value set, so you see that delay on that locomotive. So here we go, start moving. I've, I've hit idle and brake. Again, shutting the locomotive, we'll turn the lights off shut the locomotive down so I hope you've enjoyed this and you'll consider if you really love operations and you love uh, you get a kick out of more than just playing trains or running your trains in circles and you really enjoy switching operations nothing beats this uh, Iowa scaled engineering prototrottle and next week I'm going to show you how you can operate your prototrottle just like a professional locomotive engineer would. So be sure to tune in for that. It'll be a fun video. So until next time, I'm Tim Garland. Thanks for watching the Seaboard Central, and happy model railroading, everyone.